Inshallah, we're going to have some of our younger people reciting poetry. So there was a sister who wanted to recite. Yeah. Um, sister, if she can come here. You can just, uh, she can sit on this chair. So, assalamu alaikum, my name is Asha. Um, this is my latest poem I made. It's called The Path Less Traveled. Allah says that more people will be in hellfire than heaven, which makes me wonder which group I'll be in. I know that as soon as I was born, I was pulled into a temporary life of decisions. All that decide will be my final position. A life that compared to eternity is only a stop under a palm tree. And, I, and before I was born, Allah chose Islam as my deen. And then my parents pulled me into what they believe. I was born a Muslim and will stay that way my whole life. If I can survive temptations and follow the sacred revelations and stay on the straight path. I travel on life's path, but temptations elude me. In one decision, I cleave everything good Allah gave me and go into a world where I can do anything I want. And what's worse is that shaitan is whispering for me to stop struggling. Sometimes I feel, like, feel I'm doing what I should, reading Quran, making dhikr, praying, fasting, being kind. When I'm healthy, that's still my mind. But sometimes I stumble into darkness, rebel, be horrible, disobey. But the true Lord keeps shining light back to the right way. Then something brings me back and I repent, cry, and hope that I get forgiveness from the Most High. Then I remember the name Al-Rahim, which means the merciful and extreme. And I'll smile and continue the battle with my nuts every day, sometimes stopping to help a friend of the way, hoping to eventually win against myself. I know I'm not there yet, but I'm getting there for the law's help. Shaitan will try to pull me off, camouflaging the reality of prickly thorns with mirage of promises of every sort. Sometimes I'll give in and the path goes askew. Other times I'll shake it off, say Allah and start anew. All these twists and turns I sometimes want to give up, say it's too hard and run away from the task I work for every day. But then I remember that giving up will just lead me to the fire and everything, instead of getting better, will just go haywire. So take a step towards your Lord and he will come running, showing us his blessings that a regular person will find and stunning. Keep on walking, keep on going. Allah makes easy things we put our hearts to. He also treats you the way you think Him. So think of Him, no believe Him, a merciful, loving, forgiving, guiding Lord. Good deeds is what will get us to the promised land. So I try to fill my basket with as many goodies as I can. But sometimes the candies will taste yucky because I didn't stop to pick them correctly. So I ask Allah to make my intentions pure and let me do everything humbly. Free will is both a, both a curse and a blessing Allah gave us. So we try to clean our heart and make it alive within us. Conscious will tell me the right thing I should do, but if I listen to her or not, is my choice. So I ask Allah to guide us in everything that we do. Keep us going straight on the path that we all go through. They say a moment's reflection is better than a night of worship. So take time to reflect the attributes of my Lord, the actions of myself, the blessings I receive, the characters I should lead. So yes, I hope to take the path less traveled. And inshallah, along the way, Prophet Muhammad will keep me going straight. And I hope that the end, Jinnah will await. And Angel Red Wan will gladly open the gates. And when I step inside, I'll be the happiest soul alive. And that's how I'll stay for the rest of my days. Enjoying the promised garden, lovely and charming, perfect without devils. Living with people like me, who took the path less traveled. Inshallah.